Jesus tells the story of the king who invites special guests to a lavish wedding feast for his son. This isn't just another wedding feast. It's the only and the ultimate wedding feast with the purpose of sustaining their very lives. They were me. I grew up in a family that prayed together and went to mass together. We spoke of God frequently. I was definitely on the invitation list. I woke up in darkness Surrounded by silence So these special guests invited by the king, Jesus tells us most completely ignored his invitation. I went to reality, losing its grip on me, oh where, where have I gone? So he mistreated his messengers, others even killed them. Cause I can see the light. That was me too. I see In spite of my upbringing, I chose to walk away from him. I chose to deny the invitation. You called and you shouted, broke through my deafness. Now I'm breathing in. It sounds cliche to talk about, you know, living a life of sin and being in darkness, but I understand now. That was me. I was living in darkness. I was living death. My darkness washed away my blindness. Now I'm breathing. In the story, in so many words, Jesus says that the guests choose their own end. They were destroyed. They died. End of story. The king presents before you and me life and death. We often choose death. Death is what I chose. It's what I deserved. What if I loved you? You waited for me, I searched for you. Here's the amazing thing. Jesus tells the story of people choosing death and actually dying. But that's not how it really ends. You and I are in that story right now. I was looking outside. We have been presented with life and death. As if love would ever to hide. I'm finding I was We've all chosen death, some of us in big ways, but all are significant ways. Cause I can feel the wind. How we treat one another, how we live, for it what we live for. We choose death. You called and you shot. You know what the king actually does? He sent his only son to take our place. He accepts the death that we chose, that we deserve, that we might find the life in him. My darkness washed away my blindness. That is what he did for me. Breathing in and breathing out. He has forgiven everything from my past, lifted me from the grave given me new life. I remember when I confessed my sins, truly confessed my sins for the first time, the power of, of forgiveness and mercy in the hands of the priest in that moment, when he put his hand on me and said, I absolve you of your sins. I want you, I want you. I could literally feel myself lifting up. I could feel the load being taken off of me. Because I love you. Yeah, I love you. Regardless of how deep you are into choosing death right now, he has been relentlessly pursuing you, that you might live right here, right now. That you would know him beyond the cliche, beyond the imperfections of those of us who profess him. And there are many. He wants you to know him alive. Real. You shattered my Join us on this great adventure. Know how truly 
and deeply, God loves you. We'll meet you this Sunday at Mass.